So, you want to install the full brightness toggle mod for Minecraft 1.21.4 so you could turn the dark into light with just one button in your keyboard. Well, you have come to the right video. Let's begin with this tutorial. The first thing that we have to do to install the full brightness toggle mod is to make sure that we meet the requirements in our computer. There's two things that we have to do. First, we have to open regular Minecraft 1.21.4 vanilla and then just quit the game, close the game, and then make sure you also close your Minecraft launcher, not just the game. The second requirement that we need is to have Java 21 or JDK 21 installing our computer. Any Minecraft app of Minecraft 1.20.5 now requires you to have Java 21 to install mods or to create a server or do anything like that and of course full brightness toggle mod is a mod so to check our java instance we're gonna head over to search down here and we're going to type add or remove programs go ahead and open add or remove programs and in here we're going to search for java 21 simply click on search apps and then type java don't type any number just java and then you will see what version of java you have as you can see i have java 21 if that's not the case for you though, you might have to uninstall your Java in here. If you don't have any Java at all, then don't worry because I'm gonna show you how to install Java 21 super quick. But just make sure that you have Java 21 in here. Again, if you don't have it, delete that Java and then click on the link in the description that says Java 21. This is a written guide on how to download and install Java 21. This is a requirement. Again, it's super simple though. If you don't wanna read through the whole thing, just click on Java 21 right here. Once over here, select JDK 21 and then select Windows and then download the x64 installer. After that, you just open the installer and it's pretty straightforward. You just click next a couple of times in the installer and you will have Java 21 installed. After that, we are ready to begin installing the full brightness toggle mod. The first thing that we have to do is download the full brightness toggle mod. For that, click on the second link in the description, which is a written guide on how to download and install the full brightness toggle mod. You don't have to read through the whole thing. You could just scroll down to step one and click download. Once over here, we're going to look for the 1.21.4 version, which as you can see is the most recent one. You're going to click on these three dots right here and then hit download file. That'll begin the download for the full brightness toggle mod within five seconds. And while the mod downloads, if you're struggling to use this mod online, then just create your own server with Apex Hosting. If you use the first link in the description, you could create a Java server that supports over 200 mod packs that you could install in less than five minutes with just a click of a button. They also have locations all around the world, so your friends have no excuse about lagging or anything like that when you defeat them because they have locations literally in every place you could imagine. Something I personally love about Apex Hosting is that you could create the server through your phone and then access the server console through your phone, meaning that you could change the settings, kick people out, whatever you want to do from your phone. I'm gonna leave that first link in the description again for 25% off. Thank you Apex Hosting for sponsoring this video. And now let's keep going with the tutorial. As we can see over here, the full brightness toggle mod just downloaded. Let's go ahead and drag and drop this mod into the desktop. Now the full brightness toggle mod also requires you to download another mod along with it. It's called the collective mod. To download collective, just go to our website, second link in the description where you download full brightness toggle mod from. And then on the first paragraph, just click collective and that'll bring you over here. Once over here, we're gonna do the same process. We're going to look for the 1.21.4 version and then download the file here with these three dots in here just click download file and within five seconds our file will begin downloading after that let's go ahead and wait for this to download we're gonna go ahead and drag and drop this file just like we did with the full brightness toggle mod into our desktop now these are two jar files and that's why i told you that you needed java 21 without java 21 you won't be able to use these jar files but these are also mods and any mod that you add to minecraft needs to run on a certain mod loader specifically for the full brightness toggle mod is going to be forge so i'm going to show you how to install forge we also have a video already on how to install forge 1.21.4 as well as a guide in our website but if you want to do it super quick click on the link in the description that says forge once over here you don't have to read through the whole thing I scroll down to step one and click download forge here that is going to redirect you to the forge page where you're going to look for the 1.21.4 version here on the top left make sure you select the 1.21.4 version and only after you have that version in here click on the installer that will redirect you over here where you have to wait five seconds without clicking anything it's very important that you don't click anything and only after five seconds you'll see a button appear here on the top right that is going to say skip once you see that skip button go ahead and click it and the download for the forge installer will begin let's go ahead and wait for that to finish once we have these three files now we are ready to begin if we already install java 21 and close our minecraft game as well as our minecraft launcher we are good to go the first thing that we're going to do is double click the forge installer which is going to open this little menu here as you can see install client should be selected automatically and unless you have installed minecraft in a custom folder you don't have to change anything else over here just hit ok and forge will begin installing this should take less than a minute depending on your computer it might take longer but usually it's going to be a couple of seconds and there we go the forge 1.21 1.4 version has installed click ok you can now delete this text document from the desktop as well as the forge installer because we don't need it anymore the next step is to add these mods into our forge instance in our computer 
To do so, open your Minecraft launcher down here. And if we install Forge properly, once we open the launcher, we should see Forge selected here automatically. As you can see, we have Forge 1.21.4 here. And now we need to add the mods. To do so, head over to installations and now make sure that modded is selected. Without modded, you actually won't see Forge in here. After that, if you still don't see Forge in here, don't worry. You could just click on new installation and then look for Forge here on the version. Just type Forge and then select 1.21.4 and then name this whatever you want. I'm going to name mine Apex Hosting. After that, you're going to hit install here on the bottom right and you should see Forge over here. Whatever the case might be, however you added Forge in here, doesn't matter. Just hover over Forge to add the mod and then click on this little installation folder that I chose right next to the play button. That is going to open a folder that has a lot of files, but we're looking for a specific folder in here called mod, M-O-D-S. As you can see, my mods folder is right here. But if you don't have your mods folder in there, I'm actually going to delete mine so you guys could see what happens if you don't have the mods folder. It's super simple. All you have to do is right click, hit new, and then create a folder yourself. And you're going to name that folder mods, M-O-D-S. The mods folder could be created by the user. Now go ahead and open this mods folder app. And now all we have to do is drag and drop the full brightness toggle mod as well as the collective library into here. Just drag both mods in there. If you want to add any other Forge 1.21.4 mods into here, this is the moment. If you have any other mod in here that is not compatible with either 1.21.4 and Forge at the same time, then you're going to have a crash. You need to have any mod in here to be Forge and to be 1.21.4, okay? Now we could close this folder, head back into the Minecraft launcher and launch Minecraft using Forge. If you don't know what this is, just click where it says read more about player safety feature. I already know what it is, so I'm gonna click I understand the risk and then hit play. And let's go ahead and wait for Forge to open. Now I'm gonna go ahead and teach you how to activate and deactivate the full brightness toggle mod within the game. Launch any world that you have in here. Again, if you need a multiplayer world, just click on that first link in the description and get 25% off with Apex Hosting, the best service that you could use to create servers in Minecraft. Anyways, now that we're in the game, to activate the full brightness toggle mod is super simple. All you have to do is press the letter G on your keyboard. As you can see over here, it's really dark, but if I press the letter G, everything turns super, super bright. And if I turn it again, everything goes back to dark. And that is pretty much the full brightness toggle mod for Minecraft 1.21.4. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, bye-bye.